By now, you've undoubtedly heard that the Lumix GH5S does not have a stabilized sensor. And I know a lot of people question why that would be, and that just doesn't make any sense, and why would you take something away, and so on. But there's actually a really, really good reason, which you may have heard as well. And that reason primarily is because when a stabilized sensor is in a non-stabilized mode, i.e. you turn off stabilization, it's not actually rock solid. Since the whole thing is held together by magnets, when stabilization is off, that stabilized sensor that is not supposed to be stabilized right now could actually move. Primarily when you have really serious jolts and bumps, like, for example, when you mount the camera on a car. So I decided to run a test because I wanted to see for myself exactly what this looked like. I took my GH5 and then a GH5S and ran them through a series of very, very simple tests. So here's what we're about to look at. We're comparing the GH5 with stabilization on and off, and then again to the GH5S, so three different tests. We have three different car rides because I only have one suction mount, so I had to drive the same route three times. So it's, that means everything's not absolutely identical. It's not totally going to line up, but it's good enough to see the difference here. You'll also notice that the GH5S is in a slightly different position because, well, I'd see above because I only have the one mount. I had to obviously move the mount to put the new camera on. Watch the edge of the car. Watch that most closely. Since that's specifically what the car is mounted to, that is where you're going to see the most or the least movement, as the case may be. And you may want to replay this video a couple of times and pay attention to not only the edge of the car, but also look at the building and the trees behind the car. Finally, this was shot at 2160p60, so UHD, 60 frames per second, and put onto a 1080p60 timeline so that I could scale it up. So that when you see the scaled up footage, it's actually one to one. We're not seeing that actually scaled any larger than that. So let's take a look at the tests. Well, there you go. I think it's pretty clear. You can very plainly see here why the non-stabilized sensor can actually be to your advantage for certain types of work. Music